Important notice to all class members. Hello, online class members, this is to inform you that we have created a membership area, and file all our train videos. Please type the URL as shown on the screen on your browser to get access to all our training videos. If you do not have account, click on create new account, to create access to log into the class membership area. Note that the password will be sent to the email, in which you registered. Now let's get into today's topic. Welcome to Evansuka Master Class Lesson 06. Our topic this week is, how to determine the best product to sell online. My name is Evans Hugo and I will be your subject matter expert and moderator. I have been developing software, mentoring and coaching people in information technology in the last 20 years in oil and gas business industry. I have spent the last five years specifically developing marketing strategies for a number of organizations using social media platforms as a consultant. You can contact me directly if you need to learn how to brand your products and services online. We can become your internet marketing agency writing contents to promote your business online. We can offer you specialized training, coaching, mentoring on internet marketing as we as keep you in form of market changes that may promote or affect your business. You can contact me at Smart Drive Consulting, 234-803-342-8469. Or email me at evans at smartdriveportfolio.com. Or tweet at me at evansugo. Review of last week's lesson. Last week, we talked about 1. How to start online marketing business for beginners. 2. How to start online marketing without money. 3. What is business structure in online marketing. 4. What is a niche market solution. 5. Do you need to be a computer guru to sell online. Six. Setbacks in online marketing. 7. Three steps approach in starting online marketing. In this week's lesson, we shall be looking at 1. Six common mistakes people do in selecting a product to start an online business. 2. Four things you must consider in selecting a product for online marketing. 3. Guidelines that will help you determine the best product for online business. And finally, we expect you to provide us with feedback at the comment section of this video. You can also go to the class forum and post your questions. How to determine the best product to sell online. In lesson 05, we had raised three important questions, that you must ask yourself, and provide an answer before starting online marketing. The first question was, what product do you want to sell online? In this week's lesson, we will take you through a process of determining the best product to sell online. 6 Common Mistakes People Do In Selecting A Product To Start An Online Business 1. Do not select a product and bring it to online marketing because of your perception about the product. It is not so much of how you feel about the product but how that product will solve a market problem. For example, in a given office during lunch, if people have to trek half a kilometer, or drive the same distance before they can get good food. Trekking or driving half a kilometer, is a market problem that has been created. Market problem is usually defined by demand, supply, and price. So here, there is a demand for good quality food, that is affordable and within the circumference of the office area, which should be less than 100 meters during lunch on working days. So here we need a restaurant or food vendor, that will transport food to the office vicinity before lunch break period. 2. In online marketing, the restaurant or food vendor, is called keyword, or sometimes is referred to as a keyword phrase. You need to take note of keywords because we will use it to determine the market potential for the products that you want to sell. Keywords are also used by Google in determining market trends. Remember what we discussed about cookies in lesson 05. Please refer to that lesson because that is what Google uses for market trends for each keyword. 3. Do not select a product for online marketing because of perception. What we are saying here is that you should not start online marketing because of the perception that people hold about the product. If people feel the product is good, but there is no demand then you will have a problem selling the product. Products that sell, are products that solve people's immediate problems. If you look at the consumer's consumption patterns, you will find out that people would always want to spend money on what will solve their immediate problem. You should always target products that will solve consumers' immediate problems. 4. Do not select a product and bring it to online marketing because of look and feel. 
The look and feel may be very good but the product may remain on your shelf in the shop for over one year without sales. So you need to consider the need for your locality in selecting a product for online marketing. 5. It differs from location to location and territory by territory. For example, you may have a friend that is selling clothes and doing very well in turnover. This could mean that within her locality, there is a high demand for clothes or there are lots of working class residents or office workers around her. Do not select a product and bring it to online marketing because someone else or your friend is doing very well with the product. Always remember that the market problem is defined by the locality in which that business operates. Or maybe, she has a network of working class workers that she sells. What you need to understand is that there is a demand somewhere that is helping her deplete her products. 6. Do not select a product because that is what is trending. Many people think because a product is in vogue, it is a good reason to start selling. You may sometimes face frustration with this idea. You need to select a product that there is demand in your locality not necessarily a product in vogue. Products in vogue may sell well in one locality and may not sell well in another locality. You need to do trend research before you start selling a product that is in vogue. 4 Things You Must Consider In Selecting A Product For Online Marketing 1. Origin Of Product In online marketing, marketers get the product from two sources. The first source is that, you are the producer of the product. The second source is that you want to sell other people's product and we called this affiliate marketing. Therefore in online marketing, it is either you are selling your own product or you are selling other people's products. So you may need to consider the origin of the product that you want to sell online. The origin of the product will determine product availability. Do not start online marketing on a product that will not always be available. You may have the demand but the product availability becomes an issue. Please do this now before the end of this video. Click on the red subscribe button below this video now and hit the notification bell. This will enable you to receive a copy of our weekly free lecture, videos. 2. Affiliate marketing, is the process of earning income every time you promote someone else's products or services. If you generate a sale for the company, you get paid. If you don't generate a sale, you do not get paid. This means, you do not necessarily need to own a product before you begin the online marketing business. Affiliate marketing has made it possible for anyone to start an online business because you do not need to own a product before you sell. You earn a commission by selling other people's products. In affiliate marketing, you can sell products from anywhere in the world. What you need to do is to identify a product in high demand in a certain locality, they also identify the origin of the product. Approach product producers and sign an affiliate agreement. Most product producers have affiliate forms and agreements on their websites. Download, fill, sign and return before you begin to promote their product. If you have money build a website to showcase products you are promoting. A website is also a means of reference to your client. 3. Product demand and size, you need to consider if the product you want to sell online is in demand. One of the most effective ways of starting an online business is to begin as a niche in a given territory. You must find out if the product you want to sell online is in demand in the territory that you want to start. You must also determine the size of the demand. The size of the demand will determine the market size and it is called market potential. I'm going to show you how you can use Google to determine the market potential for a product. If you know the market potential for a product that you want to sell, you will not look for buyers when you finally start online marketing. 4. Build email list and phone contact, you cannot be successful in online marketing without an email list. Once you make up your mind to start online marketing, then start building an email list. One way to start is to go to your email and copy out an email of people that are in your contact. Usually, it is good to start with people that know you, so they will not mark your mail as spam mail. The second method is to go through all your complimentary cards. Copy out names, phone numbers, and email. Build a list of phone contact, email, and names from your internal sources. Once you start promoting products, you will ask your friend to share your promotions with their friends, this way those that come back to you, try and collect their email and phone contact into your marketing list. In summary, considering the following guideline will help you determine the best product to sell in online marketing. Solve a customer pain point. 
The product you want to sell online must be a product that will solve people's immediate problems. Appeal to enthusiastic hobbyists, those professionals who are addicted to a product with a passion. Go with your personal passion. The product must go with your personal passion. Consider your professional experience. Do you have all the experience to sell products online? Capitalize on trends early. When a product comes out new and there is a huge demand for it, then you may consider selling the product online at that time. Remember the Ebola in Africa, hand sanitizer sold in millions. Read customer reviews on existing products. Go to Google and read reviews about products before you sell them online. Do not sell products with very bad reviews from customers no matter how good the product may look. Find product opportunities in keywords. Use Google to search for keywords and market trends. Litmus test before you launch. Test the product with few customers before full-blown online marketing. Join the class discussion now at Facebook group and LinkedIn group. LinkedIn group www.linkedin.com slash groups slash 13796842. Facebook group www.facebook.com slash groups slash Evans Uco Online Masterclass. Go to the comments section on the video and post your questions. How to search for previous lectures in Google and YouTube. If you missed, go to Google search and type Evans Uco Masterclass. Click on search and select lesson number. Alternatively, go to YouTube search and type Evans Uco Masterclass. Click search and select lesson number. Click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell on YouTube. This will enable you to receive a copy of our weekly free video lecture. Please share now. Thank you and I will see you in the next lesson. New lesson is posted weekly. To be continued in the next class.